All right, so this is eight ports. It's only gigabit, but it's Ethernet. PoE plus 30 watts per port. Boom, 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 boom. Look, 30 watts per port. Excited to see if this guy works. Excited to see if he can power these little security cameras, intercoms, all that kind of nonsense. And the best thing about this guy, apparently it's silent. So inside, you get readme first, you can register the device, all the languages you could want, and that's what you get, power adapter, power cord, wall installation kit, rubber feet, mounting kit, installation guide. So, oh, what do we do here? Anyway, this is the switch. It's a really tiny fella. It's nice, it's light. This one's unmanaged, which means all the ports can talk to each other. I don't mind about that, because I'll be using insecure devices for this, I just purely want it for the power. This is, this is the power brick. Standard size, let's see. It's 54 volts with 2.4 amps. And this is the mounting brackets if you wanna put it on a server rack. And all the different countries, adapters. So there's the example, pretty simple. You can plug in cameras, you can plug in other routers and all you do is just connecting the power it's unmanaged so it should just work if the left and the right right means poe is in use left means it's going a thousand yellow is a hundred and yellow is poe is not working no poe when there's no light if it's blinking that means there's activity and poe max maximum poe power that the switch can deliver all ports at the same time is 120 watts Maximum power to each port is 30 watts. Solid yellow means less than seven watts. Blinking amber means the max PoE. The switch prioritizes PoE and PoE plus from ports one to eight. So the maximum power goes to this one and then it degrades as it requires up to 120 watts. Okay, we're almost plugged in. Let's see how it cooks. Turn her on. And yeah, good news, I can't hear any sound. And it looks like, yep, security camera has been powered on. Lights are on, green means PoE is up and running. Let's see if I can connect. So this here is my current 10 GBE PoE switch. It's got 16 ports, but it's pretty noisy. So I always keep it away, hidden away in the house. This guy over here is the silent one. It's silent because I can move it around where I need to use it. So I'll just first maybe plug in a PoE device. So I'll put it in port number one because I want maximum power. And it's good that it gives you an indication that PoE is working. And then next up to access this device or I at least try to see it on the network, I have to connect these two. So I've got a little ethernet cable and I'll put that in port number eight because that leads, needs no power for ethernet. And I'll just connect to port number 13. And that should make the connection over to my laptop. Now, this is a managed switch, which means I need to jump in on the managed interface and just make sure that this port is talking to my laptop's port. And then once that's connected, we should all see the show. Boom, so it works really well, security cameras, but you can also use it for other PoE devices. I've even got it to power my electric strike on my gate. So I've got this PoE switch just here. And what I've got now is I've got an ethernet cable, the blue one, it's plugging into something called a PoE splitter. What that does is it takes the power from the PoE ethernet and it splits it into an ethernet port as well as a DC out port. And this one over in the back, it has 12 volts, nine volts or five volts. So you, I've specified here, I want 12 volts out. So this cable here, if I get my multimeter in there, just one on the outside one on the inside. You should see I've got 12 volts on the multimeter screen. That's perfect. So now if I just plug this guy into my already wired connection, boom. When I unlock, I'm using this switch to give power via ethernet to the lock. So that was a quick tour guide of unmanaged PoE Max switches this one i've been using for a few months now works really well so i'd recommend it and hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show